Hi, everybody. Welcome to Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. This is not an elimination game here, Ray, but boy, the stakes feel huge in this one. Well, you always hear it when you've got someone down, you've got to step on them. They've got the opportunity to stretch this lead in the series. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Couldn't complete the play. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Sent into the offensive zone. Puck battle along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And he loses control of the puck. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. New York's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Barzell's got him along the boards. New York's got him along the wall. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nugent Hopkins was hooked on the play, and the officials saw it. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Here's a chance out front. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Islanders have been handed two minutes for hooking. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. What a great opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Scoreless game, you go on the power play, you want to attack this. You can change the way the game looks in the next two minutes. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck scooped up by Turris. Pokes it away in his own end. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And play comes to an end as someone is heading to the sin bin. Referee Gilles Levesque calling holding here on this one. Yeah, he didn't hesitate either, James. No. It's like as soon as the player got close, it's like you could tell there was something going to happen. It's a holding call. They'll have a lot of time to work with this five on three. Too many times on a long five on three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least. Shoot it and make the penalty killers react. Moves it to Neal. Not able to connect. Handles the puck. Moves right to the middle. Oh, what a stop by Harlamov. They fight for it along the boards. McDavid's working it around in the corner. The Islanders will kill off a few extra seconds now. Gets it out of his own end. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. Drives to the paint. Quick feed to Boychuk. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Pucks it in deep and they'll make a change. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Taken by Boychuk. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged a good save. Puck clears the zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it... Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle stopping the play. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Setting up for the faceoff with a lengthy five-on-three here. Hey, they say greed is good. Get one, get two on a five-on-three power play. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Dishes it to Bailey. Knocked away. Connect on the power play. That looked like a well-thought-out play. They moved the puck quickly, found the open man, and it's in the net.
power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. The Islanders from preaching good start. Mission accomplished here, Ray. Teams always talk about getting the upper hand in a game as quickly as they can. Now you can play from in front. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Number 26, Oliver Wallstrom. Back at the point, they set it up. Can't keep a hold of it. And that goes off a player in front. The Oilers carried along the wall. Looking to break out here on the power play. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Sends it across. And that one's broken up. And the puck leaves the zone. The Islanders have it against the wall. Carries it across the line. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Offside is the call. And we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Still lots of time left in the period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Nugent Hopkins wins the draw. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Now he takes it over the line. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. The centermen glide into position. Edmonton's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Clearing attempt. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Up, oh, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Quick pass to Lee. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the official's decision. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've gotten themselves to within one, now they've got a power play opportunity to try and even the score the best power plays always work when the feet and the puck are moving at the same time moves it around along the half wall here's a short pass to Turris and that one's broken up by a great defensive play puck moved back to the neutral zone the Oilers have it behind the net angles it over to Turris into the offensive end now moves it to Pugliarvi he scores while well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize, they do a nice job there. Perfectly placed shot into the top bin right over the glove. This is a great shot. More than half the period left to play. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. This neutral zone faceoff set to go and we are back underway. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Pulak's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. Edmonton's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. Feeds the puck to Nelson. Great poke check on the reach. 
Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And now it's grabbed by Nelson. Fails to find the open man. McDavid's going to play it against the half wall. Nice poke check with the steal. Puck picked up by Dreisaitl. That's off a stick. Neal's exploring options with the puck. And he denied that opportunity. Moves the puck. Takes the feed. And he takes a shot. Oh, puck doesn't get there. It's so crowded in front of the goaltender. And I think about as big a stop as you can come up with so far tonight. That's a much-needed whistle there. When you're running around in your zones, you're always yelling at the goalie. Freeze it if you can. Finally, he jumps on it. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Nice job tying up his opponent. The official's arm's going up in the air. He caught that hook, too. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. The Islanders have been called for hooking. That's kind of a bad penalty to take. You reach out with your hands, and the referee sees your stick parallel to the ice. He's going to call it most times. Edmonton's got a five-on-three, but not a lot of time to work with. This is going to be quick, this five-on-three, but if you can win the draw, you should be able to get a quick shot. Sends the pass over, and he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Scores! The go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. effective power play there. They move the puck around and they're able to find him right in the middle of the slot. Edmonton's offense has given them a one goal lead here, but it could easily be more, Ray. Yeah, they've got the majority of shots and good chances in this first period. Let's see what they do in the last half of it. Slides the puck across to Dreisaitl. The Oilers looking against the half wall. That knocks him off the puck. Taken along the wall by Pellet. Quick feed to Everly. The Islanders get a hold of the puck and makes the save. Half of the goals in this league are scored from directly in front of the net. That doesn't happen with a save like this. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Takes that one right in the logo. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Oilers are looking to build on this one goal lead. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. New York's moving it up the ice. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Ennis. Puts it on net, and he makes the save. Puck grabbed by Pulak. Quick pass to Del Cole. Here's a chance. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Cassian. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck moved over to Pasho. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Edmonton's got it in the neutral zone. And he regains control of the puck. Chase on, got it in the offensive zone. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. On the doorstep. And they can't convert to the play. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Grabbed along the board by Kara. Taken by Cassian. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Cassian's got it on the offensive end. They go on the attack from the left side. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. They've got numbers. Here's a shot off the mask of the goaltender. Boy, right between the eyes. Now that's got to hurt. I don't care 
how much equipment you have or how good the mask is. That thing's coming 80 plus miles an hour. That's got to hurt. He got all of that hit. Looking for space inside the D zone. Everly's taking it from his own end. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Denies that opportunity. Koskinen's going to cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. It's 2-1. Setters jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Denied by Koskinen. Edmonton's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. New York's won the faceoff, and they fail to go tape to tape. Pushes it across to Neal. And he's ridden off the puck, and they can't connect. Slides the puck to Lee. Nice zone entry from the left. Lee's got it along the wing. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. The Islanders play it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Barcel. Nothing doing. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Couldn't make that one happen. Moves it to Bailey. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Quick shot. Turns him away. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Moves the puck down low. Slides it back to the blue line. No room for that one to get through. Bailey's back in the play after getting a new stick at the bench. The Islanders played along the wing. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Picked up along the wall by Jones. The Oilers have it now. Moves it quickly over to Yamamoto. And he comes up with it. The Islanders have it against the wall. Through center along the wing. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone and tries to make a diagonal pass to Clutterbuck. And now he tries to get it across to Komarov. Receives the pass. The blocker saved by Koskinen. Once he winds up, the goalie can move into position and set. He slops it, but he turns it away. Late goings of this period. It's a 2-1 game. Sizikas has won the faceoff. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Nugent Hopkins has it in the defensive end. Quick feed to McDavid. Puck exits the zone. The Islanders get a hold of it. New York's on the attack and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Blocker save! He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Quick pass to Nurse. McDavid swooping in on the attack. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Directs it on over to Everly. Here's a short pass to Lee. They've got the defense outnumbered. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And there's the horn concluding period number one as both teams get on the board. Fans, tonight our world famous Glen Feast dropping $50 gift certificates. Keep your eyes to the sky for tonight's big prize. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, is also set. Let's do this. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. 
Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Islanders are going to have to find a possession game that looks a lot different than that first period. They chased it around, and as a result, they're chasing the game. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. Handles the pass at center. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's broken up. The Islanders ready to go on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. Edmonton's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Skates to the crease. His reflexes on display tonight. Moves it on over to Cahoon. The Oilers take it along the wall. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Everly's got it across the line. New York's got the puck against the boards. Right to the middle. Moves it to Barzell. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Jones setting up against the wall. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck to get your stick into his feet. This is the consequence. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. I don't know what the coaches could want more than the way that this power play has performed tonight. Here's another chance for them. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. He was locked in there. Sharp reaction save. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Can't connect. Gives them nothing in front. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. No one home on that play. Scrum along the boards. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. New York's got it into the offensive zone. Bailey sliding the puck behind the net. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here's a chance, and that one's stopped. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Edmonton's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Sasekis wins the faceoff. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Let's it go! Denies him with the save! Pinned up along the boards. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Nice pass. Stones him in front. Trying to get it out of their own end. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Quick feed to Turris. Tosses it to Pugliarvi. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Quick pass to Yamamoto. Here's a blast. Denies him with the save. Scooped up along the wall by Sisikis. Takes the pass. And now he angles it across to Del Cole. Comes up with a stop. And that pass goes awry. Trying to get back on the attack now. Great reflexes. Another save. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Koskinen's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Oilers lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Cassian's got the puck in his own zone. And now he moves it to chase on. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Snaps one on net. Big time stick save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. New York's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. 
Puck dumped in. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Here's a short pass to Mayfield. Puts it in deep. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. The Oilers move it ahead. And now it's grabbed by Kara. Strong defensive effort. And some good footwork to kick it away. Moves it to Everly. It's a two-on-one. Puck picked up by Russell. Dumps it in. New York's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over. What a shot, but it goes off the inside of the post. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. Edmonton's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. McDavid's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Puts it on net with the stop. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's 2-1. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Battle along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. New York's got the puck. Quick pass across to Bailey. Gaining momentum along the wing. Slides the puck over. Couldn't find the intended target. Puck grabbed by Puyo Yarby. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Pellick. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Quick feed to Beauvillier. Oh, just wide of the net. From my angle, that looked like it was going in. He just misses that wide. Pellick's able to get everything behind this hit. He really lays one on here. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Islanders win the faceoff. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick pass over to Pullock. New York's got it in their own zone. Puck scooped up by Clutterbuck. New York's moving it along the wing. Couldn't connect on that pass. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Sends it over. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. Dead center, excellent save. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Bear. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Penalty coming up. Big save. Whistle blows the play dead. Goaltender can't even get out. The Islanders will serve two for holding. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. Here in the back half of this period, Edmonton's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Nugent Hopkins wins it in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to McDavid. Answered the call there. And the puck's not loose. Picked up along the boards by Bailey. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Edmonton's looking to break out. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Moves it to Neal. Can't find his man. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. A chance! Comes up with the stop. New York's got it against the boards. Taken by Clutterbuck. New York's got the puck against the boards. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, and blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Denied that one. They move the puck out of harm's way. 
Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Pulak. On the attack along the boards. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. Well, they got through that one. Their penalty killing has just been average tonight. But they'll take that one and put it in the good column. He almost lost it for a sec. Scores! And they are on a roll now, Razor. You can start to see this game's going to run away if that goal scoring doesn't slow down here. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net. He has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Edmonton's extended their lead to a pair. Like the way that they've been playing, they've had the majority of the possession. Now they've been rewarded on the scoreboard, and you've got under half a game left. Larson's got it in the defensive end. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Quick feed to chase on. Out front, that's turned aside from the blocker. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Carries the puck up through center. Quick pass to Barzell. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. With possession along the wall. Here he, he scores! James, how many timeouts can you have? Because they need one now. They needed one before. And the way this is going, they're going to need one in a few minutes. Or they could use the ghost of Roger Nielsen to wave that white towel. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Edmonton's offense is rolling, and there's still a lot of time left. I don't think you ever try to not score, so you're up by a lot. Good. Score a few more goals. Carry this thing in. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Tries to get the puck to Pasho. Takes the bump but hangs on. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Tries to get it to Neal. Slides it on over to Turris. New York's got the puck in their own end. Pajot's got it into offensive territory. Quick pass to Neal. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Grabbed along the boards by Pajot. Battling for it along the boards. Jabs the puck away. Sends a pass over. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Nice defensive robbery on that. Slides the puck over to Bailey. Sends it in on the attack. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Tries to feed it over to Yamamoto. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. The Islanders have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Nelson. And now it's grabbed by Bailey. Right up front, in the back of the net, they score! There's something to build on. I like the way they responded here. This game could have gone ugly and out of hand, but now they're at least within shouting distance. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Islanders have got one late here in the second. What does this do for a team? Well, it gives you a little bit of hope, but man, they've been so far in the hole. This isn't enough hope to think you can really come back. By number 29, Brock Nelson, assisted by number 12. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Loses his balance on the play. Slides the puck across to Letty. And now it's over to Everly. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Here in the late going of the frame, New York still down by two goals in this one. Karras won the draw here in the neutral zone. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Manages to hang on. Moves inside!
makes the save with the glove. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Barzell. It's in. He scores. That's just a minute between goals. Buckle up, everybody. We're not done yet. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. The Islanders get a much-needed goal here late in the second, Razor. Put themselves within striking distance. You want to give yourself a chance. They've done that. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to chase on. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Sends it in deep. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Cassian. Can't catch up to the pass. Throws it on goal and makes the save. Barzell's been relentless this playoff season. He's among the league leaders in points, no matter how they check him. Edmonton's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. New York's won the draw. Hammers won. That goes wide. He grabs the puck here at the point. Puts it on net. Denied by the goaltender. Everly's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. The setters will glide into the dot. The Islanders win the draw. The Oilers have it from their own end. Oh, what a save by Koskinen. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. Fans, take a look to the sky. The whole team Zeppelin is loaded with price. And it's your way all intermission long. Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. in the books big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go third period action is underway and let's see if the fireworks will continue here Ray with two periods in the books what are your thoughts on the game to this point the Oilers lead and they got to be hoping that their goalie gives them a save soon because right now it might be last shot wins still early on in this frame James and Ray with you so glad you could join us it's a one goal game here 4-3 is where we sit. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Quick feed to pull off. Takes it at center. From the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Islanders win it. Takes a shot. Makes a save. Koskinen's job is not just to stop the puck, but get it out of danger. He does that here. Takes the feed. Denies him with the blocker with a stop by Harlemov. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Directed over to Barzell. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Bear. The Oilers will play it in their own end. That pass doesn't go. Here's a shot. He scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. That is a pizza turnover delivered to the other team perfectly. 
The shot goes up over the goalie, and that's a mess. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Maintains possession. Swing and a miss. Picked up along the wall by Bailey. New York's across the blue line. Takes a shot. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Oilers win the draw. Here's a short pass to Jones. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. New York's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Slides it across to Nelson. Puck picked up by Jones. Passes ahead from the right side. Here's an odd man rush. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Varlamov's reflexes help him out. A dangerous chance he turns away. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Along the half wall with the puck. Edmonton's get trying to gain a step. Torres is back over the boards here. He's had a terrific night so far. Multiple points, and he's a catalyst to produce more. Excellent stick work on the play. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Centering pass! Look out! Overshot it! Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. Denies him! This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Letty. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. We're going to back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Still lots of time left in the period. We are all tied up in this one. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Stop that one. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Kara's gaining momentum. The Islanders get a hold of it. Handles the puck. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Varlamov. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Koskinen's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. The centermen glide into position. Edmonton's won the faceoff. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Pushes it across to Pollock. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Moves the puck. Kuya Yarby's had a great game. He's already got three points and really been dynamic. Taken along the wall by Pollock. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Strong defensive effort. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Levels him with the hit. The Oilers grab possession to the puck. Picked up along the boards by Nurse. Regains possession at center. Moves it to Pugliarvi. He scores! And the deadlock's been broken! Now you get a chance to control the pace of the game. It's tough to do it in a tie game. Now you've got the lead. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Oilers have jumped out to a one-goal lead here in this third. Well, pretty clear this game's not going to spread out at all. Two very equal teams battling it out. Puck is dropped, the play resumes. 
Moves it quickly over to Cahoon. Let's it fly over the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Time of the goal. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Solid check to slow him down. Grabbed along the board by Pulak. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Quick feed to Pulak. Moves the puck along the half wall. Right in the slot and they can't connect. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Bailey's carrying it ahead. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Sends it quickly to Bailey. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. He's all alone with the goaltender. Oh, what a stop on the breakaway. Good speed to break ahead of the pack. He thinks he's got the goalie beat, but shut down. That's a great stop. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Moves it around along the half wall. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. Kara's getting two for hooking. I hated taking these penalties. It meant that I was out of position a little bit. And you have to do something in desperation. New York's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. A well-deserved power play coming up here looking for the tying goal. They've been really pushing hard. And they drew this penalty through that hard work. Denies him again! He tried to go right up under the bar there, but that is a quick glove save. Really nice. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Oilers are in an offensive battle tonight. They lead it 5-4. Quick pass to Bavillier. Oh. And that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They had done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. Lots of options for them on this power play. They've got a couple of guys that can take draws. They pick the one on his strong side, and he wins it. It's in the net. The Islanders have answered back with a huge goal here in the middle stages of this third period. It's always dangerous when you chase the game. But now that you've leveled it off, you feel good entering into the last stages of period three. New York's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck to Del Cole. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Here's a short pass to Barry. And now he tries to get it across to Turris. Can't connect. Not able to connect. New York's got a hold of the puck. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. And now he angles it across to Pajo. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Gains the zone from the right. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. They fight for it along the boards. Slides it quickly to Lee. Now he takes it over the line. Pokes it away in his own end. And now he moves it to McDavid. Nothing doing on that. Smart defensive play there. The Islanders take it across the line. Moves it to Lee. Shot, and that's blocked. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Oilers have it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Lee. Oh, what a stop. Koskinen's taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. Gains the zone through the middle. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Oilers take possession in the neutral zone. Pokes the puck away. New York's in now. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck grabbed by Nugent Hopkins. And now it's over to Kara. Slides the puck to Barry. 
Nice speed and center moves up ahead now. Picks up the puck at his own end. Looks to pass it to Clutterbuck. Quick feed to Komarov. Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Oh, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. Once he gets in that close, you know it's going to be a deke. He sells the shot, though. The goalie bites on it, and he goes to the forehand. Makes no mistake to put it in the net. New York's close to the finish line, and they've got the one-goal lead. Keep pushing. You've got the lead, but don't let it slip away by trying to be too conservative. Sasekis wins it. Puck scooped up by Boychuk. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Nice poke check. Picked up along the wall by Kara. Taken by Kolarov. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Sizikis. Quick pass to Yamamoto. Edmonton's in transition. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Beauvillier. Couldn't complete the play. Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Puck picked up by Yamamoto. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Centering pass. Huge steal in his own end. Carries it across the line. Puck grabbed by Beauvillier. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Koskinen's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it freeze it in a close game the Islanders have been the busier team in the shot department and they lead it late in this third period swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up taken by Ennis lays the body the Islanders gain possession in their own end moves it to Beauvillier puck scooped up by Turris Ennis takes it across the line. Oh, that was violent. That's a big hit, and it jars you right to the core when you get hit like that. Feeds the puck across to Pellet. Moves it quickly over to Lee. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Sends the pass over. Made the stop on the play. Fails to find the open man. Couldn't complete the play. Quick feed to Ennis. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. That pass goes a little sideways. The Oilers have it from their own end. Quick pass to Barzell. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. New York's got the puck along the wall. puliarvi has got it behind the cage. Still a tight one here as we approach the final minute of the third. And that one's turned away. Barlamov's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. New York's got it in the defensive zone. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. And now it's grabbed by Del Cole. That opportunity is rejected. Through center along the wing. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pugliarvi. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. The Oilers really need a goal here. They've pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Letty's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Reaching out for the puck. I guess it's a little bit of a bad play. You've got to realize the guy's getting away. Let him go before you take the penalty. The official's making him pay for it. The Oilers with another big opportunity on the power play. 
Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Stays with it. Takes it into the slot. Shot in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. Extra attacker on the ice. Big face off here coming up. Scoops up the puck off the draw. And they manage to clear it. Puck picked up by Dreisaitl. Slides it diagonally to Turris. Receives the pass. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Draw coming up with the extra attacker on the ice. Nelson's won the faceoff. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Gets it out of his own end. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. A chance from the slot. That's wide of the net. Oh, he's going to see this one when he's lying on his pillow tonight. A great chance, and he's not able to capitalize. It's been the narrative all night, and they're running out of time here. That's it. There's the final horn to close this one up. Deuce is wild in this series. Pretty much what we expected. Yeah, now you're getting into the part of the series, James, where it becomes a war of attrition. Guys are starting to get banged up. They're tired. The game's getting more and more intense. And that'll do it. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.